Hello everyone, how you guys doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back on my video session. So we're gonna be continuing on retro arch. Yeah, because previously uh, I was doing arcade FP Neo, FP Neo, which was pretty awesome. So um, I hope you guys must have enjoyed the action out of that emulation program. There were more. FP new yet, so don't just think that it's over because I don't like to just keep you know make make things over so quickly. The next video is gonna be pretty pretty good because there's gonna be a lot of games in the arcade FP new new yet which will be played. Right, so today I'm gonna be talking about RetroArch. Okay, so we have previously stored Arcade FB Neo, which was pretty good and it worked really good on the Nintendo Wii U, which is really good news. So, there you have it. Now, I'm gonna be showing you something, yeah. You know, the the Wii U App Store, yeah, the HP App Store. If you look on here, yeah, oh, where's it going now? Right, we aren't here yet. The App Store, yeah. Now, if you look here on this App Store, especially on the Retro Arch Arcade Core, yeah. There you go, yeah. And then you go to some two more details. Now, if you look here carefully at these systems, yeah. Okay, let's scroll down. Look at these machines, yeah. I'm sure you can see more clearly. Oh, I can make it more larger if you want. Okay, it should be all right. Now, this is the arcade core on RetroArch, yeah. I was pretty concerned about this, what this was. Now, they're giving you this core thing, yeah. The list of core here, yeah. Look what they've actually done here. So I'm going to download this here. So if you look in here, there's one called MAME 2009. But when you download from the official website, Retro Arch, yeah, the MAME 2009 is not in there. Yeah, it's not in there. If you don't believe on that, go, go to your, uh, your favorite web browser, wherever you use. Go to RetroArch website and go for the Wii U section, download it. Uh, the main in that only you're gonna get is like things like main 2000, main 2003, main 2003 plus. That is all. And I think there's one called main, that's it. But main 2009 is not in there. But on this website, there's main 2009. But even when you download it from here as well, so we download it here. So now we know what's going on here. Yeah? Okay, let's download it from here as well. Look, look what happens. Yeah, it's still downloading, so be be patient. There you go, it's main. So this is the Orchid Core one, yeah? For Retro Arch. Now let's minimize this, yeah? Now, when we're going to go in there, yeah, look what you're going to get out of it. Did it download yet? Just 
actually glue all this no, we don't need that. okay let's extract this here so we just download it we don't need this too we don't need this all this okay there you go so this one is retro arch yeah and it says close on there now take a look at this you know cores what are they cores are the gaming systems it's the games consoles yeah they've given that here that's what they're given here the cores yeah but is this enough to run the emulator no it's not of course it's not this is just the game systems you also need uh, the info file as well this is just the RPX file the RPX file is for the game systems but if you haven't got the info file it wouldn't be show up in the retroarch. Don't worry, I'll show you all that. What do I mean by that? Now, that's a big problem. Because they only give you the RPX file. Now, if I remove my SD card from the Wii U, yeah? I'll show you more what I mean by that. Okay, so okay, on your router SD card, there's retro isn't there? Yeah. Now, what you do from here, what they were giving you, they were talking about core. So you go to cores okay they were giving you that and that file goes here can you see all these rpx files rpx files here he goes here so i'll show you that again what they've done in download yeah you know these the one you really need is main 2009 not yeah which is this one so you copy that, okay, here, in the cores folder, and you see all the RPX files here, you, you copy it here, okay, so that's the game system, but where's the info one, this is the actual game system that actually runs, but it's not going to show up is it, so if you go down here, look, in the cores, there's another folder called info. Look at this. Did you get that? And in this, in here, there is. Look, all of the at the end, it's got info. Okay. Oh, let's see the configuration file is one you do configuration that comes automatically. That's not this going to do it. All you just need see there's no configuration file in this, isn't it? You just need main two thousand nine one with our info. You need this file to show up in retroarch. Okay, you will need that. Now now that's all being covered here now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove the SD card and show you on the actual Wii U program, yeah? Hold on, actually.
So May 2009, no one's ever ever had made a video on this yet. So what we'll do now, obviously because of cards in there anyway, so well, I'll just rush it in here and just, there you go. Okay. So you probably already can see on my desktop here. Yeah, there he is, May 2009, yeah? There he is over there. Yeah, there's that one, isn't it? Now I live all the wrong ones from May 2009. Okay. So I'm going to copy that. Okay. Go to emulators and paste in there. Okay. So let that just get copied to move to that annoying. Okay, so that's all done now. Okay. I'm still going to be doing some bit of explain, explain, explaining about all this here. Yeah? Let's minimize that, yeah. Don't need to bother. Now, what we need to do, we need to remove the SD card from the PC.
So we're gonna do more explanation of this retro arch again, cause it's still I need to show you on screen what I was talking about. Yeah. Okay, this is important. Yeah, now you know the RPX file I was talking about. That's a game's system file. Yeah, that needs to be in there anyway, so you can run that system. But also, when you click on load core, it needs to show up in here as well, doesn't it? Now, I'll tell you what I was talking about here. Yeah, you're probably thinking that Arkham 2009 is showing up on my retroarch. The reason why it's showing up because you know that course folder I was talking about. There was another folder called info, wasn't there? Because I put a uh, main 2009 info file in there. That's why it's showing up on here. If you haven't got that, it won't show up on here. The latest version you're going to get on here, you probably will be Arkham 2003 plus. Yeah. When you download it from the official website RetroArch, this is the latest version they will give you, Arkham 2000 Plus. Why don't they already put it in there for you? And I even heard that uh, they're putting more cores in there. Yeah, I even seen that as well. It's going beyond 2010. But I failed to understand, they haven't given the info file for 2009. How are they supposed to give a file for 2010? Then I was reading some blogs where some guy goes out, he's got Arkham in 2010. I was very surprised. I got wonder where he got that from. Because I couldn't find the, the main 2010 info file. I couldn't find it nowhere. Okay, I'm going to show you some games right now. What they actually look like. Because no one on YouTube has ever showed the Arkham name 2009 games. Here you go, I'm going to give you the experience. Let's see how they run, yeah? Yeah, just take me out. There you go. Now, load content, yeah? SD card, email letters, name to the name. Alright. You got cheats in this as well. That's why there's a cheats folder in there. Okay. <laughs> there's the cheats as well in this. We will come to that when I'll come to main 2000. Nine. This is only just to explain to you what is going on now. You can play all these kind of games, man. Yeah, it's just kind of cool, really. I mean, move on. You want Blazing Star on game? So we're trying to run Blazing Star on this. Let's see if it runs. Let's let's see what's like. Takes time, doesn't it? Here we go. So this is another. Uh, the, it's a new video game. Blazing Star. It just takes time, don't we all work? It doesn't show a black screen, it won't do that. So this is going to run the new G arcade games only, okay? There you go. 
Hey, it runs. Oh, your full TV experience. Neo Geo Max 3 Mega Pro Gear Spec SNK. Here we go. So you just press the uh, minus one here for the coins, because this, this is the arcade experience. This is. Looks pretty good on it, man. Looks pretty fast. <laughs> oh, you fool, what you did that for? <laughs> you can hold that. I just closed it and did that. <laughs> okay, this is bloody raw. Which one shall we try, actually? Mm -hmm. It's not bloody raw, too. It's got games like this in the simulator, quite good stuff. Let's see if we can run this. So this is a proper arcade experience for you guys. It's just taking time. Oops, doesn't look like it's working. Yeah, I don't see any TV on here. Ah, the console's on. Okay, so, oh, let me just switch you off here. We'll try it there. We'll try that Blurry Road 2 again. I don't know what happened. I think it was something to do with that. Con he said no content, no I do something. Content. Could something to do with that. Could be that. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Right, we're back on RetroArch again. I think this program does struggle a bit. 
But it does actually work on it, yeah? So don't just think that it's just, you know, it's useless. It isn't. This kind of stuff do happen, so, you know, there are these programs. Yep, there you go. I'm just hoping that this will work really good. The problem with this emulator, it takes time, doesn't it, to come up? It takes quite a lot of time. It's, it's just like that. These arcade ones are. Maybe it needs a bit of update so it comes quicker, anyway, because it's taking a lot, a lot of time. Oh, there you go. Oh, I hope it works this time. Yep, works right at the top. Current core. Come on, come on, come on, show something there, man. Let's see how it runs. Is it fast or slow? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, it's come on. Yeah, it works. This game is very good, you know. It's much better than the console versions. That is the arcade version, isn't it? Take a look at this game, it's very good, you know. Look. Okay, it's starting to be slow, but it isn't. It looks good. Let's see with the sound stutters. Yeah, the speed looks okay. God, no sound, is it? Shame. Okay, let's just skip this. <laughs> uh, this game is not very nice. Seems to be kind of handy. Looks quite good, you can tell me. It's looking good. It's terrible, man. It's not working at all. We're not gonna. We're not gonna try. We're gonna try something different. I think. Ignore that. It's spoiling my video session, man. <laughs> and I didn't want that. Making the whole damn thing boring. They don't be bored. It's not my fault. It's these daft programs. They do these dumb things. Yeah, we're not wasting that much time anyway, so I'm sure we're gonna get something working. I'm just making this video because I think a lot of hardly nobody made MAME 2009. And you did not actually made it. I haven't seen one. You're gonna get a really advanced experience from me on Mem 2009. Yeah, this is nothing. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna find out which games actually work on it, and then we're gonna I'm gonna be showing you them games on there. Cause there's no point just putting on any game and you know look this look what's happening. I'll have to investigate into that which ones actually work on it. But this is otherwise I'm, we're just wasting time. Because this was all about RPX and the info file. Right. 
We're going to select something different this time. Because you just run the same game, Blaze is starting and I've got P new, any. We want something different to run on any. That's what the experience is about, really. Right. All right. They're like plus plus. I don't think that actually works, really. No, it's just new geo guys right here, I'll get really in it. Let's try outrun. The arc experience. It better work. All right. What a fun man. Can I move it? Yeah, 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 it works. This is just a bit of a, you know, to show you what it's like. Right. Yeah, it goes fast with this one. Yeah, everything's working pretty good. Let's get on this side, boy! <laughs> Use Suzuki's Hellroll, check it out. I was going to play that stupid shit anyway. It looks much better than that. Uh oh. Oh! Yeah, man, it looks good, man. It looks worse. Yeah, it works pretty well. Uh, I'm not using the this game today, I'm very good. Ah, you know, I hit the pump. Looks like the yeah, air, you know. Oh no. Slow down a bit. I'm gonna try and get it. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh, come on, no, no. Come on, get back in there, you fools. Oh, God, oh, come on. Yeah, no, God. I hate him on there, you know, I really hate him. Why did he make it like that? That is too difficult. You don't know, purpose, man. I just stayed in the middle, honey. Oh, where are we? Go this way. I don't know which way is the easier part. Is this one? See ya. Oh. Oh. Dialogue. Okay, let's try another one actually. That was kind of cool. The music goes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Let's try another one. Action was pretty good with that. Use Suzuki's outlook. Let's try another one. Why does it do that? I really hate that. I did exit too much, I don't go to the iTunes, whatever. Some different games in this game. Mars Matrix, let's try that. I'm not gonna show you every single game, I'm gonna just let's just do another one after this. Then I will stop it. Oh, he's right at the top. This game is tough, okay? This is looking tough this game. Mars Matrix. Oh no, it didn't work. Why? 
Oh, it's going there, ain't it? Stupid. No good. Sorry about that, I didn't want to. We'll just try one more game, then we'll end this video, yeah? Just one more game. There are quite a lot of games on the simulator. I just selected the ones I actually like, you know. That's what I've done. I was thinking that if any of the Tekken games work on there. <laughs> Can we find out about any Tekken games in there? Let's find out. Come on, wait. Come on, do something now, will ya? And stop messing around. I'm gonna try and play the. Blood Wars. Because Blood Wars 2 is actually working, you know. I don't know why they keep on doing that. Is it, it could be something because I've connected to the television, yeah? And I think that's why it's not working. It probably just works on the gamepad. Some games, I think, just works on the gamepad. They don't work on the television properly. Too much power for it, I suppose. Because <laughs> when you put systems on TV, it needs it's is um, um using more power. You see, because usually it just works on the game part rather than the television is doing that. Did I already press that? I can't remember. <laughs> Alright. I'm not really racing with it. So I'm just looking what we got in there, yeah? Wow! There were quite a few games in there. Well, I'm not going to show you too many games, yeah? But let's try Tekken 1, yeah? Go for that. Here we go, Tekken. The arcade Tekken game. Here we go. Let's say it runs. Mm. They're pretty good on this. If they run, that's a very good thing.
Yeah, I think it's the T television thing. This game was actually working on it. They're not working on the television. He's got TV out problem. Yeah, it definitely has that problem, man. Yeah, it just flows, look. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not a lie, man. Okay, so something is going on, isn't it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to run this on the gamepad, yeah? I think they're not working on the television. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this game on... I ain't gonna play it, I'm just gonna show you at 2x. So let's turn this TV off as well. Okay. So we disconnect the, the wire from the television as well. Okay, hold on. No connection to the TV whatsoever. Alright. So I'm going to put it on the game plan now, yeah? So let's see what's going on. Why is he doing that? So this is a problem, because every game I'm trying on the television is not working. So I'm going to put that Tekken game on the gamepad. So we'll find the real truth. Yeah, looks like that on the gamepad, yeah? Can you select the knee maker for me here? Yeah? I'm gonna put the volume up on the game by yeah? And here is Retro Arch. Right. Let's see what the problem is. Why is he actually doing that? Because he wasn't doing that before. I think it's something to do with the television. Then. If it works on the gamepad, then it's not going to work on the television. Then It could be that as well. Then I'm not going to I'm not gonna even bother with Mame 2009 if he's doing that. There's no point then. We'll have to skip that emulation. Because that's no good. Because what I want to show you on the TV experience not on the not on the gamepad. Well, it's good on the gamepad as well, like a handle thing. But then you could just try it yourself, and it's no point me showing it to you, anyway. You could play it yourself than on the gamepad yourself. Roy, I'm gonna load the call. There it is. Name two thousand nine. Okay. All right, so it's taking me out of time, so let's hold on. It's pretty slow though, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna load the content. SD Emulators Major Line. Now let's try that tech again again. Huh?
Okay, we've checked on Delhi's here. Yeah. Let's see if it works now. This one's loading the archive. Uh, okay, May 2009 now. It should work from here now, yeah? And let it just come on. Yeah, it looks like it's not working, man. Mm, I don't know, this emulator was really, really good before, you know. It's gone really poor. It's not working at all. Mm, it look, doesn't look like it's working anymore. I don't know it used to work before, now it's just not working properly, look. Black screen. Look, crap. It's a crap emulator, man. Alright then, so there you have it. I mean, I'm going to end the, end the session now. So I hope you guys enjoyed what I've been showing to you. Don't give you likes, go subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.